At Baltimore's VA Medical Center, the Fathers Group is helping veterans repair family relationships damaged by addiction. It's founded on the belief that by becoming better fathers, recovering addicts can reinforce positive behaviors. Marine Corps veteran Trevor Lane has a whole new outlook on life that was nearly lost to substance abuse. My rock bottom was um, I just couldn't go on anymore in life. I fear addiction and then all the lies and the mess that creates and the shame just built on them and then more and more and more. Trevor turned his life around thanks to a unique program developed by VA psychologist Mark Arenas. Trevor's not unlike a lot of guys. There's a tremendous amount of shame and embarrassment and humiliation. Arenas helps other veterans like Trevor, whose addictions have ruined their family relationships. He encourages them to break their cycle of negative behavior through a unique form of group therapy he calls the Father's Group. Does anybody in the group have something that happened to them or with their kids or something they're thinking about, about fatherhood that they want to uh, lead off with? With the exception of Dr. Arenas, all of these men are fathers or grandfathers who have struggled to overcome substance abuse. When I first got here, one of my biggest struggles is whether or not I should tell my daughter about uh, me using drugs. The Farmers Group is a place that you can come and actually uh, tell the truth about your struggles. And this is the place where we can actually get some honest, genuine help from some other fathers who have had some experiences. You should be commended for telling her that and letting her know that, which also uh, open up uh, uh, her eyes and her feelings for you to bond with you. Dr. Arenas kind of lets us take take the group over, the, the older guys, and he's just to make sure to, to keep order. There are a lot of commonalities between recovery and fatherhood, we've discovered. Uh, one of the keystones of recovery is a kind of a consistency and a reliability. What's been the biggest challenge for you upon returning? In the group, he establishes the tempo and, and the order, and then he allows the older the guys that have been there for a while to, to really reach out and tell their stories. It's not like the same world. It's just like two different worlds when I, when I got back. The Fathers Group honors the ideal of fatherhood, but also recognizes the difficult daily realities of being a dad. Yeah, we tell them you, you don't have to be perfect, but you got to be there. We're all going to make mistakes, everybody. Uh, the trick is, oh, where did I go wrong? And then how, how can I make that better and learn from it and help my child learn from it? Joseph Jones, a recovered addict himself, has become a national expert on fatherhood, even serving on an advisory panel on the subject for the Obama administration. One of the things that is really uh, exciting about coming here to the Fathers Program is to see Mark, Dr. Mark Arenas working with guys who have served their country well, who have their own set of demons, but they're willing to come forward and work through a process to become not only healthy individuals, but good dads, and to begin to think about what the prospects can be for their families when they make that transition to a better life. Dr. Arenas challenges the group to examine their family histories and the behavior patterns their own fathers may have left with them for better or worse. Becoming a better father also means understanding the multiple roles fathers play beyond simply provider or authority figure. My relationship with my son has gotten better and it's getting stronger. It is like starting all over again because it's like when I started using drugs, I stopped growing. And now I have a chance to start growing again, and it's exciting to me, and I'm excited about my life and the direction that I'm going in. It is worth whatever you think you're going to go through, uh, whether it's shame and guilt, it is worth all of that just to get one smile out of my kid. One of the principles of, of the VA's mission is that we're person-centric. And I think when you start to talk about fatherhood, that's one aspect of their personhood. And so it, I think it helps them, and it helps us see them as whole people. I want to be a part of their lives and know what's going on in, when I'm with them. You know, it's different than when I was using being around them. You know, I really wasn't there for them. By recognizing the importance of family in the recovery process, the Fathers Group not only offers these patients a more holistic approach to recovery, but also an opportunity to reconcile with those who matter most to them. I want to 
resolve these issues that I have so that I can become a better father because I know that I'm not going to be here that long. And when I'm gone, I, I want them to remember me in a positive light. In researching this story, we came across an interesting historical note. The tradition of celebrating Father's Day is believed to trace back to 1910, when a woman in Spokane, Washington, convinced state lawmakers to set aside a special day to honor fathers. She was inspired to do so by her own dad, a veteran of the Civil War. Thank you.